when you roll your shoulder like this to the back, always to the back, never, never forward, always to the back, your arm tends to take up and complete the movement. So first, let's just relax and put the hands down and roll back, roll back, roll back like this, okay? So there's a lot of upper body movement when we do shoulder roll, but when you're moving your shoulder with your arm like this, then the arm takes up a lot of that movement. What you need to be careful about is that you're not swimming or moving your upper body too much. So try to keep this part still and move from the shoulder. So start here in the front, go toward the back, and then dun 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 dun. Let the movement come all the way out your fingertips. First one shoulder and then the other. And you'll notice that when I'm doing shoulder roll that my hands are not moving so far up or down but staying in a certain area, okay? So there's one more thing here. When you put your hands out to the side, it's not really side. This is side. Now I look like I've been stuck on a wall or something. That's side. That's my actual side. See? But it's not there. It's here. Look straight ahead and move your fingers. When you can see them in the corner of your eye, you know you've got it. Now, roll your shoulder back, back, back. 